Hi there, Ricky on speaking. Well, today we're going to look at the chronology of the English Bible. How do we get our English Bible? In fact, which of the translations is the first of the English translations? Well, it's not the King James translation. I hate to break that news to some who actually believe that the Apostle Paul carried around with him a, a King James Bible. No, he did not. King James came many, many years after the Apostle Paul and all the other apostles. The first English translation was made by John Wycliffe. Now, John Wycliffe was a priest in the church, and he saw what was going on in the theology of the church and how the Bible, as far as soul authority, was not really being honored and this was the desire, this was his passion, that the average person on the street would be able to understand the Word of God. You see, the translation that existed at that time was the Latin Vulgate. And so he began to translate, not from the Hebrew and the Greek, but rather from the Latin Vulgate. You see, Latin was the popular language of the time. In fact, for a thousand years, Latin was the main language, just like as today, English is a universal language. Well, Latin was a universal language. The problem is very few people in the time of John Wycliffe were speaking Latin. Even many of the clergymen did not know Latin, even though the services were done in Latin and they would read from the Latin Vulgate. Every one of John Wycliffe's translations had to be handwritten. You see, the printing press wasn't invented yet. So the Wycliffe Bible is a handwritten translation from Latin to English. That's the first English Bible.